Evasion is a mechanic that seems like it should be pretty simple on the surface, but there's some depth here and none of this is explained very well in game. And in doing my research for this video, I actually discovered that most sources online have an out of date formula for the evasion mechanic. So in this video, we're going to dive into all of the systems that kind of make evasion work and what you should be looking out for when putting together an evasion build. Let's jump in. From the defender's perspective, evasion is kind of the second thing that happens when you are hit with an attack or a projectile. In general, uh, AoEs and boss slams can't be evaded unless you're using the acrobatics passive, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. For now, there are a couple things I want to talk about in regards to the evasion check in particular. Those two things are the attacker's accuracy and the defender's evasion rating, and that's what actually determines the likelihood that you will get hit with an attack. But this is actually where things start to get a little bit interesting here. So in PoE 1, the chance to hit formula was actually well known. These are the spreadsheets I was using for testing to determine if that was the same in PoE 2 because I'd seen some claims online that it was. But my testing essentially yielded that that didn't seem to be the case. So if you see right here, we're working in terms of chance to evade instead of chance to hit, but that's just because I can then check it against the evasion number that the game is spitting out on the character sheet. So this is a uh, level 37 character here, um, and I've got an evasion rating of 797. That's where this 797 value comes from in the spreadsheet. So if we jump over to PoE2DB, we can actually look at the accuracy rating of a level 37 normal monster, and we can see an accuracy rating reported of 716. So these are the numbers that I started my initial testing with. So if we plug this in and we use the evasion formula from PoE1, we get a, essentially a chance to evade, like the inverse of the chance to hit is negative. So like you will never evade because it can never be less than zero. So I pretty quickly realized that this couldn't be correct. And then I tested that with some other numbers just to see how high my evasion would actually need to be to even get a positive chance to evade. And as you can see, I would need something like 2000 evasion at level 37 to evade, to even get a positive chance to evade here. So I knew that something was amiss. This then led me to kind of scouring around online and trying to figure out if anyone else had figured out this formula and I couldn't find anything anywhere until eventually I realized that Path of Building was doing this math and it seemed to be correct. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Path of Building is an external tool that you can use to kind of put together builds and test, thing, test things out out of game without needing to kind of commit gold and you know respect your whole character to see how things will work. But anyway, their numbers seemed right. So I hopped into the path of building source code for PoE2, the PoE2 fork, and I was trying to see what I could figure out. And if we go into this modules folder and then we look at the calc defenses file, there's actually this hit chance function, and this has this other formula in it here. And this is actually a significantly simpler formula, but it's not very similar. Um, so if we go and we look at the blame and we can try to figure out when this actually changed um, and it was not too long ago and it's this updated formula for hit chance calculation so this seemed like a good reasonable thing to try next so if we hop back into our spreadsheet here you can see that this is essentially the formula that we're now using for this chance to evade poe2 version but these numbers still aren't completely correct there's still something that's a little bit off here so this kind of led me further down this rabbit hole so eventually i wound up pinging the developer uh, their name is local identity and they've done a ton of work on the poe2 fork of path of Bill building. Um, and I kind of asked a couple questions and I was like, hey, where did this formula come from? Long story short, eventually I figured out that local identity wound up pinging GGG to see if they could get what this formula was because it's so hard to kind of reverse engineer and figure out where these numbers are coming from. So then I asked why these numbers didn't seem to match up with what we were getting when we compared them to accuracy ratings from uh, PoE2DB. In PoE2DB, the accuracy that the monster has is actually the result of this base stat being multiplied by a monster type multiplier. So this is just a rotted rat, but you can see there's a 358 base stat for a level 37 rotted rat, and the monster type multiplier is 2. But if we go look at a boss, you can see that it's basically the exact same setup. It's the same base stat and the same monster type multiplier and the same resultant accuracy rating. But I couldn't find any monsters that had less than 2 here. That made me wonder if maybe that 2 multiplier was 
like miscalculated if that was too high for some reason. So I then came back over and I basically just halved it. I said, well, what if we just use the base 358? What does that give us as our evasion rating? That gives us this 53.5% number, which happens to be the same number that we're seeing in game here with 54%. I went in and I tested this with some other characters as well, like lower characters, characters with higher and lower evasion, and this was the number that I got consistently. So I'm pretty confident that this formula is correct and that there's a bug right now on PoE2DB where essentially these accuracy numbers that they're spitting out are being multiplied by two when they shouldn't be. I think for the base case, this should be a times one multiplier, but do note that there are some monsters that actually do have a slightly higher accuracy multiplier. So this is like a level 37 um, Rust King. And his multiplier is times three here. I think his should actually be times two. I think these are always being multiplied by one more than they should be. This is important because we need to know what these numbers are so you can kind of figure out what evasion rating you should be targeting if you want to go off anything more than just what the in-game tooltip is. So to that end, I actually put together another tab on this spreadsheet that kind of maps the attacker's level and their accuracy in general. Again, this is just like with the base multiplier. Um, and I've mapped that against defender evasion up from like zero all the way to 63,000. Um, so I'll put a link to this in the video description, but you can actually come in here and you can like test against different accuracies and, you know, look at your evasion row to figure out what a chance to hit would be for monsters at a given level. This is also why, as you may have noticed, as you level up in game, if you don't change anything with your evasion, if you don't change anything in your build, your evasion rating will actually go down because what's happening in game is the game is estimating based on your level, like the level of monsters that you'd be fighting, what their typical accuracy would be. So when you level up from like level five to level six, the attacker's accuracy goes from 70 to 75. So if you don't change anything on your character, your evasion rating will actually go down. But again, I'll have a link to this in the video description or feel free to hop into the discord or leave a comment if you have any questions on how this actually works. Ah, and I've just realized I mislabeled this. This should be chance to evade. Anyway, where is this number actually used? So we went we went through this a little bit when we were initially going through defensive layers. I'll link to that video here, but we'll do a quick recap as well. So when a monster attacks you, this table will be used to determine their chance to evade slash chance to hit. And let's say that they've got like a 30% chance to hit. What'll happen if this is the first attack in your kind of combat, if it's been 3.33 seconds since you've been recently hit, there will also be an entropy value which is rolled. So it won't just randomly be like, you know, a one in three chance or so for a 30%. Instead, the game will roll a random number between zero and 99, 99.99, I believe. And then that number will be added to this 30%. So let's say that like a 60 is rolled initially. This 30% will be added to the 60 that the game just rolled to give us a 90%. Because this value is less than 100, this initial attack will miss. But then let's say another monster attacks you and they wind up with you know, a 30% chance to hit based on this table as well. That number will then be added to this 90 to give us a 120 kind of evasion rating, an evasion threshold number. So because this is one over 100, it will then hit and then your evasion counter will reset, and because we're over 100, it'll go down to 20, and this process will begin again. So say you're attacked once more, they've still got a 30%, this number would then go up to 50, etc., etc. There are some affixes for evasion I wanted to touch on briefly as well. There are percentage and flat evasion increases on armor. Uh, those are generally straightforward. The thing to remember with those is that they are local modifiers and they are just modifying that piece of armor. There are percentage and flat increases on uh, like jewelry, on rings and stuff as well. Uh, but remember there that increases are kind of adding to your global uh, additive increase pool when they're on rings. So like all of your percentage evasion increases from all of your jewelry and like the passive tree and all those places, those all get added together into one big sum and then multiplied by your base evasion rating to give you like your overall evasion increase. Finally, there are also jewels, which will kind of modify the uh, local area's evasion enhancement on the passive tree. I'll put a link up on the video here so you can kind of check one of those out as well. But those are the main ways which you'll be increasing your evasion rating overall. I did want to talk about acrobatics very briefly as well. Um, note that acrobatics is a less multiplier on your evasion rating. So that thing is a multiplier 
multiplicative, so you could view it as multiplying your overall evasion times 0.3, which can be pretty rough. Um, but it does kind of get around that thing that we talked about at the very beginning of the video where you cannot evade boss slams and big hits. Um, so if you're, you know, rolling a super high evasion build and your numbers are crazy, crazy high and you're always like, you know, almost against that 95% threshold, that can be a good way to kind of solve that problem where big slams can still kill you. I think the big problem here is that it's really hard to tell in game when you are and aren't evading those big slams and even just overall it's hard to know like when you're evading attacks so I think it would be cool if we could get some kind of visual feedback to know like how effective your current evasion setup is um, that'd be my one ask of GGG here I think the system is pretty pretty straightforward and well designed overall once you understand it but I think like increase tool tips in game so you could kind of see this math a little bit easier and then some kind of feedback as to when you are evading could both go a long way. Um, but anyway, I think that's a wrap on evasion. If I didn't cover anything or if it seems like I've got anything wrong, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll pin a comment with any corrections or frequently asked questions. Um, again, I'll also put a link to the spreadsheet in the video description uh, so you can kind of go check it out yourself. If you want to have a little bit deeper of a discussion on evasion or really any mechanics overall, we're always happy to get into the weeds. Feel free to hop into the Discord um, or catch me on Twitch. I'm usually online on Monday evenings. Um, but I think that's a wrap for evasion. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.